Hi guys, good morning. God, um, I'm going to dye my hair. This is something that I've been wanting to do for so long. Hi you guys, this is crazy but God, everything itch. I want to take, like chop my hair off because this is, it itches so much. God. <laughs> Man, I can't, I can't wait. It's looking pretty nice. Trust me, I've never been this blonde in my entire life. My hair, my hair is so pink. Um, I hope you like it, guys. I've been wanting to do this since I was 18, but I, I was, I was too afraid to do it. Have you ever been in a really, really bumpy airplane? And um, this happens to me a lot. I'm on an airplane, and the turbulence is just like so strong you think you're going to die and I'm like okay this is it I'm, I'm, I'm going to die and this airplane is going to crash and the first thing I think is I never dyed my hair pink that's the first thing I think <laughs> when I when I think I'm going to die so I'm so happy I did it even though I'm 32 and you're supposed to like get serious and do like serious thing with your in your 30s this is the I I want to do it anyway. I'm so happy you guys are here because I'm finally going to share the stuff that I bought in Japan. I don't know how to feel about hauls because I don't like when hauls hauls only make you feel you bad. No, I didn't phrase that correctly. Hauls make you feel bad 90% of the time. I don't know how, if you guys feel like that when you watch a haul, but you're like, I'm so sad I don't have this. So you get like the urge to buy things as soon as the haul is over. So um, I don't know how I feel how, about hauls, but we're in it now. Uh, so this haul is not, the, the purpose of this haul is not to make you feel bad about not having these things. I don't like consumerism and I tend to buy only the things I love and that was actually something that I have been applying in my life for like so long now but I only buy things that I really really am dying to get uh, so that's like my mojo in terms of like buying things so all the things that I bought in Tokyo were things that I was just like I gave them a good thought before purchasing them um, and I'm so proud because I love everything I bought 100% anyway uh, I don't know where where should I begin okay so this is not in any particular order but I went to you guys know I love stationery and this is the reason why we are here uh, but I went to Tokyo hands so Tokyo hands is like a department store in I'll say Japan but I only went to Tokyo so in Tokyo and they say they sell pretty much everything you guys and they have a very overwhelming <laughs> stationary um and art department like one of the floors is stationary and this is it's, it's it's nuts so the first feeling you had is like oh, oh my god because you want everything uh so please go with an empty bladder and just like Take your time, baby. Oh, also, I'm so sorry about the noise because you're going to listen to a bunch of things. I, my studio is in Brooklyn and you get to hear, you hear a lot of like crazy things. I got a couple of planners because I'm trying to do some research planner wise. I got two planners. These are tiny as heck, but they're from Ba 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 and A I U E O, which I had no idea. They also sell their stuff in Tokyo Hands. Uh, this is like a very simple, uh, I put the price there, so I have like a price reference of how much to charge for my planner. Um, but it's pretty simple and I just love the way 
uh, they organize stuff and like how the uh, month is layout um, just to like have a reference on how people tend to organize their own planners and this is a uh, barba baba do you guys like barba baba i didn't grow up watching barba baba but uh but ed loves barba baba <laughs> just if you wanted to know and i love how simple and like cool the layout of this planner is I don't know if I'm making sense, but I love how they, for example, they sometimes put an illustration in between the pages and I just love how simple and tiny this is. Um, I don't know, I like it a lot. And in terms of like art supplies, I am obsessed with the Mitsubishi, not the car, the pencils. Uh, my cousin, she hooked me up on some Mitsubishi, that sounds like a freaking drug. Um, it feels like it's a drug because I am addicted and I love now Mitsubishi pencils. The one I had has an eraser on the back, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try that. Am I a beauty blogger or not? Look at that. So I bought these pencils because I want to see if I can uh, buy a few before starting my graphic novel. And these, you guys, good. If you know Mitsubishi, you will know how battery they are. And I also got these um, markers that resemble the Bosca, but these are from Pilot, I think. And they came out with um, a couple of these markers. I don't know how I feel about these markers because even though they're pretty as hell, they're already stained because I've been carrying them around a lot. Um, I don't know why it's happening, but I tried them and they ripped my my sketchbook like the paper so i don't know if i'm like pressing too hard or anything but i just i love these colors and um i think it's so cool that other brands are uh, are reaching out how do you say that expanding their line into the um, acrylic markers i think it's super cool and this was um also part of my research because i wanted to do this for so long <laughs> And I'm so happy slash sad that a brand already did it. This is basically washi tape that has the dates on it. So it has the days of, days of the week, like the initial of the date of the week, and then it has the numbers. And it, there's two layouts, this really tight and tiny version and this like spread out version. And I thought it was so genius because since my planners are open, they have no dates, they're undated planners. I already said that. Um, <laughs> I just loved the idea of putting the dates in like a line, sort of like to have a reference of what it's when it's happening. Where am I? It's cold outside, but it's it's hot inside of me. Uh, this is Sekaigo. This is my favorite art shop in Tokyo. I went to Sekaigo twice because I really wanted to take my time and to give it a good thought before purchasing stuff. I think that's the best way to do things. <laughs> this tape is meant to be for when you want to tight your paper before uh, painting with wash or watercolors or any acrylics. Uh, so it's a very soft washi masking tape. And I also got this washi tape, which is, uh, it has this like square design that I like a lot. I also bought this plastic sleeve because I had to put all of my receipts inside and yeah, I just, I love plastic sleeves, god I'm a sucker for like organization stuff I also got this sketchbook I don't know if you can see it, it's really pretty uh, and the paper is soft as hell you guys know I have a thing for paper I smell paper a lot and I touch paper a lot I am like the worst art supply store customer ever because I touch everything and then I don't buy anything <laughs> don't invite me to your parties anyway um, and I got this sketchbook I am not a very big sketchbook type of person and this is easily an A4 it is an A4 god I'm so happy uh, <laughs> and I got it it's it's just like a random sketchbook you guys the other purchase I made in Tsukaigo I can show it to you guys. How are you, by the way? We haven't talked in a while. We have to catch up, you guys. 
Um, I'm okay. So <laughs> the other purchase that I did in Sekaido is for our personal projects that we're going to do in a couple of videos. And it's this one. These are the deleter screen. These, you guys, um, I mentioned these screens on the last video, so if you haven't watched it, go and give it a go. But they're basically a huge sticker and you're supposed to take it out with a cutting knife, like a precision cutting knife. And they're meant to be, I don't know if you can see, uh, texture. So if you want to give, for example, shadows or any shades to your characters or like a background when you're doing comics, this is your thing. I got a texture one for shadows, um, one for like a sky background, and this one that has like a really cool... Did I mess this up in the plane? No, I didn't. Okay, it's fine. Uh, and this gradient... Gradient? Gradient? How do you say that? Anyway. And wait, I think I got another one. And this one, which is another uh, shadowing texture. I don't know if you can see it, but it's way more darker and the dots are more close to each other. So it gives like a darker effect to the shadow. I also got this really tiny sketchbook only because the paper, you guys, of this sketchbook is perfect. I wish you were here, all of you, so you could touch this paper. It's the tiniest thing in the world. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to use it because this is not a format that I, I, I usually use. But the paper, you guys, God, this is by the brand Holbein. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, it sounds German, but I just, I purchased this only with the purpose of finding a bigger version of this sketchbook and choose to like almost like a sample like to touch this paper and find another and, and i'm not getting any sense anyway i got this i think this is a deleter right no a neo pico yeah it's a deleter i love how pico in spanish chilean spanish means dick anyway this is a neo dick uh deleter pencil <laughs> anyway and it's meant to be for corrections uh, because it's a white pen. Beauty blogger tips. Um, Ed is obsessed with this pen and I forgot to give it to him. It's a double pen, uh, black in red, and he loves this one. And also I got other several pencils. Most of them are blue because you guys know how obsessed I am with blue. And um, I also got two other Mitsubishi ones can you see what I'm doing? I feel like I'm doing this a lot. And um, basically what I want to do is to find a, like a really nice shade of blue to uh, ink my graphic novel. I love the texture of pencils. And instead of inking the graphic novel with ink, I'm doing this a lot. I um, just I, I, I wanted to see if I could find uh, a color pencil that suit, suited me. This is supposed to be an erasable Mitsubishi um, pencil. You guys know how much I enjoy my Cole Erase Prismacolor uh, erasable pencils in um, in like reddish tones. So I really wanted to try that one. And this is a pencil extension for your pencils because I use pencils a lot. And I thought this pencil extension was so cute. Look at that. When Ed and I went to our trip to Kamakura, this like dreamy seaside town near Tokyo, which is my favorite seaside town in Japan. I haven't been to any other one, but anyway, uh, we went to this cute stationery shop. I don't have the name right now. I'm going to put it right now on the screen, but this is their bag it, and it says no bungo, no life with bungu, no life, which means no stationery, no life. God, I just burp when I say that. Did I curse the stationery? No, but I bought this 2020 calendar. I bought this only for research purposes, but I love how tiny and cute this uh, calendar is. 
I haven't done a calendar in such a long time, but just like the confection, how do you say that? The, the craft of this calendar is just gorgeous. It has um, a really sheer first page and it's done with a uh, risograph, risograph, I don't know how you say that, which is a really in um, printing system, printing method that everybody now is using. But I just love how cute and just like delicate and precious this is. The other thing that I bought, <laughs> God, you're going to think I'm crazy. I mean, I am crazy, so it's fine. Um, I bought this set of stickers. I don't know if you can see them, guys. There you go. Um, <laughs> and it's only people with lots of hair and you're meant to use it. I mean, you can use it for whatever you want, but they're meant to use it for like covering up your mistakes instead of like doodling or like crossing them out. You can use that for like covering the, the stupid thing you said once. I mean, if you guys have been here for a while, you know how much I love this pencil brand. <laughs> it's the... I don't know if it's a quality pencil, but I just love the feeling of holding it. And it's the Stettler Wobbix pencil. I've only found this in a, um, like a um, bluish color. So it was really cool for me to find out another color. I don't know if this is a high quality pencil. I think it's not but just like the texture of it makes me want to draw. I feel like when I'm really intimidated by art supplies, I tend not to use them. And that applies to everything, like sketchbooks and pencils. I have like, for example, a box of Palomino pencils, which are like really fancy. And I found that I never use them because I'm like, no, my work is not good enough. Or like, I have to use them for a special location. And then I never ended up using them. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Um, so with this Wapex pencil, which is just like so not intimidating, I'm like, I want to do all the drawings. And also I got this little guy. This was such a, a cool uh, adventure in Tokyo because you guys told me that in Japan, this is something that you guys use when you were in preschool. I'm going to leave the name now below because I have no idea. I don't remember the name of this character. But this is a glue. You can actually remove the cap and just just a bald head there. It's like this is a useless cap because nothing happens when you take it out unless you then put the glue and I, I mean, okay, so let me <laughs> let me finish the demo. So then you remove this and it's glue, you guys. So maybe when you remove the cap you can leave it like this and it won't stay in the table maybe that's the purpose of the cap i don't know uh i thought it was super cute and apparently it's part of the japan um imaginary because a lot of a lot of um a lot of you guys who live in japan told me this is such a like old school thing and now you can see it like as a vintage um product on like really cute shops this is like so squishy by the way I have like lots of things that I bought in different places uh, but I went to a gorgeous gallery slash bookstore in Ikebukuro called, uh, called uh, uh, Popotamu or Popotame I don't know why I kept saying Popotame because it's a Popotamus but anyway, it's a, you guys, if you if you go to Tokyo, please go to Popotamu. It's such a like nice gallery and I bought a bazillion of scenes and things that I really liked. Um, this is one of them. I'm going to leave everything on the side so you can see like the authors. But I just, I fell in love with um, his work and just like this tiny book made me laugh out loud so hard when we were on our way back on the subway. I also bought God, this was such an inspiring trip of the things that I want to do and just... God, I love stationery and books um, and self-publishing things. This is... I love the cover of this scene and the way it's finished, like the bound um, and the colors inside. It makes me want to do stuff. Uh, by the same author or by the same um, editorial publishing house, I found this one as well and again it's so cute 
and inspiring look at that like the texture is just like breathtaking i didn't open it i think at this store but i just love the use of paper during uh like the cover during the cover where am i saying on the cover and the characters and just like the ink that they use inside and just like i don't know everything is so i don't know if you guys feel about like what do you feel with scenes but with any publication made by the author you feel like it's so precious and you have to take care of this baby once you adopt a scene slash baby um, and this is again by the same author i um, show you guys in the beginning this is a scene that you're supposed to rip open here i don't know if you can see it and once you open it you pull it out and it's um and it's a book but um it's a book that you can open like so and this story also made me laugh so hard uh last but not least i bought this uh yoriyuki ikegami art book in popotame and um this is one of my favorite artists right now when people ask me like what is your favorite artist or who is inspiring you a lot this is the person i love god just like the work and the paintings and the color and how this artist just like depicts reality and it's just like it's please just like google what this person is doing i think it's a she i don't wanna assume maybe it's a he i don't know the work though please give it a go i'm so happy i bought this also i got this at um i don't know if you guys know nakano broadway but it's um sort of like a tiny mall full of um second hand stuff and they also have these like precious things which are um sort of like capsule toys oh god the packaging is freaking gorgeous and inside you find this really delicate character i don't know if you can see it but it's just like why why are you so cute i want to take care of you and give you everything like education and a flat you know when something is so cute you want to squeeze it to death yeah, i feel like that with this person character rice thingy you guys i don't know if i told you this but last year i took japanese lessons and even though i can read japanese i don't understand a thing so i bought children's books in japanese <laughs> because they're so easy i mean this is um a book that is meant to teach you the vocabulary like the alphabet but in terms of like food so you can see different food that starts with different letters i don't know if you can see and the illustrations you guys are so freaking cute i love the illustrations i love how they're teaching kids or adults how to pronounce or how to say the different foods and it's like a parade of food and this book is so thick you guys so i really look forward to learn more words um and i also got this one which is a book of actions i don't know if that makes sense but every time you open it there's things happening i don't know if you can see them and in every action in every character there's something happening so um the, the purpose of this book is to teach you verbs or what each person is doing and it's been so eye-opening because it's like oh my god this character is doing this this character is swimming this character is pushing this character is whining or this character is i don't know i thought it was incredible how they're teaching kids different activities i don't know if you can see and <laughs> the last thing i bought and probably i won't be able to read because this is like a real manga is uh siri chan or seiri chan i don't know how you pronounce it and it's a comic about a period so this lady represents the period and uh the struggles of a person in this case a woman who goes through a period <laughs> it's basically how <laughs> God. it 
comes in the awful and the worst moment ever and how women have to deal with periods and uh, period apparently and that's what you guys told me is still like a taboo subject in Japan so um, even though this book was written by a man I am so happy that someone is being so open and just like funny about it and is making us women uh, feel more comfortable about talking about period and how we feel about it I don't know, I think it's it's super dope and I wish I could read it but um, for now I can only read the um, drawings which I'm totally okay with so that's it you guys I hope you enjoy this lovely haul please never feel pressure that you have to buy these things and I can't wait to use this art supplies with you I'm so excited I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my patrons because they actually allow me to buy all of these art supplies and to go to Tokyo as a holiday I really needed a time off and a time to rest and to regroup and to feel inspired again and I am speechless I it's really I'm really clumsy with words you guys I think that's why I am an illustrator because I don't know how to talk <laughs> and it's easier for me to um, share gratitude to people in, in terms of like drawings and art so every time it comes the moment of this video where I have um, I have to say thanks I, I do wonder if you will ever understand how grateful I am uh, that you're supporting my work whether if you're watching this video or if you're supporting on patreon or if you're sharing my art I just wanted to say thank you so much for allowing me to do this um, yeah stay tuned for next week's video because we're going to try those freaking screens and I also want to share another thing that I uh, experienced in my trip uh, I met a cool illustrator and I can't wait to show you that video and yeah you guys I hope you're having a wonderful um, Friday I have that. what <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and weekend ahead and I'll see you next week bye guys